Thank you, Shadab, for agreeing to speak with us here today and for your participation over the last three days here at this conference, which is titled Corporate Social Responsibility in Islam. As you know, and as many of your colleagues have stated, this title is in fact quite provocative and has been a subject of conversation throughout the few days. What are your feelings about this title? CSR is a very modern concept and putting it in the context of Islam, situating it in the context of Islam makes it uh, uh, very relevant for generating discussions on the topic. So, uh, and that is, why, that is, you know, what, that is what exactly happened during the last three days. I mean, it opened up avenues, it opened up pe people, windows of uh, people's mind, they opened up, they discussed, they shared things, they critiqued, and it, in the end, it raised more questions. And I think that is the next stage of uh, uh, synthesis because uh, when you have more questions, you go out and seek answers to those questions. You seek answers in your practices, you seek answers in your history, you seek answers in your traditions, you seek answers in your culture, you seek answers in your religion. And this journey of exploration would, ex would eventually lead to uh, more common grounds. You raised the concept of how the conference raised more questions. One of those questions was whether or not corporate social responsibility in Islam as concepts and as traditions could, be, could coexist. Could you elaborate a little bit more on your thoughts on this? Okay. You see, if we look at the two concepts, that is corporate social responsibility and we find, try to find equivalence of corporate social responsibility within Islam. So I see there is a lot of commonality. The purpose of corpor corporate social responsibility or CSR is that corporates, businesses or organizations need to go beyond just earning profit and they need to take care of the planet, they need to take care of the people. So it is a widened sphere of responsibility that the businesses take upon themselves, right? Uh, we find similar parallels in Islam. Uh, we had this waqf model. Now waqf means dedicated to something. Most of the time it's dedicated to God Almighty or dedicated to some cause or dedicated to mankind. So it is very much similar. So what do we dedicate? Uh, or what the people dedicate, they dedicate their wealth, they dedicate their extra money, they dedicate their time to promoting particular cause. So in that sense, I don't see a conflict between CSR and its equivalent or its parallels in Islam. However, it may evoke, the term CSR may evoke animosity or negative associations with it, primarily due to the fact that it is coming from the West. It is not internally generated, it is coming from the West. If we focus on the concept and not the source, then there are greater parallels and then there are uh, broader grounds of collaboration.